day nine, if you guys don't know day nine, StarCraft II legend. He has uh, his day nine dailies from back in the day, which I played a bit of StarCraft back in the day. I was uh, around master's level. I learned a lot from day nine. So shout out to the man, the myth, the legend. Has been playing classic WoW and retail WoW. And he's comparing them to see which one, not even not even really what he likes better, but just comparing his experiences from both. And someone linked a clip in the Reddit to uh, kind of like see what he thinks. So I haven't seen this yet. Let's see what he thinks. I played World of Warcraft Classic last week. What happened then? I enter into a field in front of a building. And there's a dude saying, go kill boars. Sir, yes, sir. It's slow, it's bland. I see a lot of places to go. I start completing some quests. There's a genteel pace. I open up more and more and more and more of this world shrouded by fog. And as I wander through it, more is revealed. My curiosity guides me. The high levels of enemies stop me. That is very well said, Day9. Yeah, that's classic World of Warcraft. I would, yeah, perfect. That interplay guides me for like 10 hours. And I'm like learning some magic, I'm getting some skills. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of slick, thick, solid and tight. Perfect. And so I think, hey, I heard WoW retail is a pretty cool way to tap into WoW as a brand new gamer. Maybe you didn't enjoy the hardcore mechanics of 2004's WoW. It's class, that's okay. Blizzard has a retail modern experience for you. Yeah. So this Tuesday, like, let's see, like four hours ago, I said, I'm going to open WoW Retail, and I just hit play. It dumps me on an island where there's a bunch of people where I have to save my son. The son's like, oh, you saved me, you have to kill harpies now. And <laughs> a, a, I don't know, a gnome thing, a gadget man, taped me to like a helicopter to fly up and then like fly back down and like ride a huge boar. <laughs> At some points, I learned some button pressing, different abilities, it's telling me to drag things, I'm killing some dudes, I'm dragging loot over to my equipment. But for the most part, I would say in the tutorial island, 20 to 25% of it was me actually playing a game. 75% of it was dialogue and people that I guess I'm never gonna see again. Maybe some of them were at the gates and I don't, I don't know, I'm gone. I got on a boat just now. Like all these people, trying to compel me to do things while it's just stapling information to my forehead. And I'm just sitting here with so many staples and post-it notes on my face, and I'm like, God, why do I need to learn all of this? And it's just like, what? It said it pretty clearly. I mean, sure, I suppose, but that's not really my problem. The problem that I had with the tutorial is it was so much contextless information with such little gameplay. But that's okay. It's shoving information down my throat. I'm doing the UHF drinking from the fire hose, which for any millennials watching, hopefully you get the reference. For any Zoomers watching, just trust me, it's <laughs> okay. gone forever. Okay. So, okay. I love day nine, dude. Stormwind, great. This self-isolated. So the, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch the rest of this. This is really well said so far. And I, and I like to hear the perspectives of new players because we have this ongoing debate of like, what's easier to get into? And then people that are playing classic often say classic and people with retail are like, oh, well, retail because you have, uh, you don't need to download like Questy and you, you um, can level up quicker and it's not as hard to level. So you can just get into it um, sooner, but time and time again from from players that have never played WoW and they play both To me, it seems like they prefer Not I shouldn't even say the word prefer it's to me It seems that classic grips them and makes them addicted and, and gets them excited to play the game More than retail does retail seems very convoluted confusing uh, a lot of stuff going on and it's like, I know Blizzard has been trying to, to do a better job with their new player experience, but it's just, there's so much that you just get bombarded with as a retail player. There's so many characters and so many spells and talents and systems and this and that. It's like, I something about like making a human, you start in Northshire Valley and you're just like doing some quests and you, you just start playing the game and figure it out. But it's really interesting that the new player experience was better in 2004 than it is 20 years later in 2024. You know what I mean? Um, what, like, how does retail solve that problem? I don't know. 
yeah, I, 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 some level of simplification. Like it's just, it's just gone so far and beyond. But let's continue listening. It's only halfway through. A lot of great insight here from Day Nine. Tutorial Island did have some merit in terms of showing me the basic flow of the game. It brings me to the whole world. I can now go anywhere I want to go. I go back to the original area and have a brief moment of ah, the familiarity, the pacing, the slow grind and growth of the game. But I say, no, 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 no. I'm not done with the tutorial. I derailed myself. I have to go back. I go back to the city where I get into a car that drives me to a horse that I ride to an inn that I then go from to a boat where all of a sudden I'm watching like, I don't know, the characters from Frozen yelling at each other. And I'm on the ship. I'm not in any of the cutscenes. It's just not about me anymore. I'm just on this fucking boat. And now I'm in a jail. And my jailmate is just like, beat the shit out of me. <laughs> so I do. And now we're breaking people out of jail. And I'm I, I, And I'm still I'm still not fucking playing a game. I wanna cast spells! I wanna I wanna cast spells on things! <laughs> Where are my spells to cast? <laughs> so I, I, I'm like so confused, man. I like don't understand because this is like the most played MMO of all time. And I'm like sitting here, and everyone's like, "Oh yeah, this is a really weird expansion here." And I'm just, I'm just I want to, I want to so frost mage. I want to cast. I want things to be really, really, really cold around me as I freeze my <laughs> castings. Like I don't. It's like I. By the way, Giga Chat Day Nine for playing a frost mage. And th guys, this is just summed up so perfectly for a new player, like. We talked about for, for World of Warcraft to continue, it's not just about player retention because player retention will never be 100%. Like there's going to be some drop off. So for the game not to slowly die, you need a new player. You need a new player uh, influx, right? To supplement. And it's like, if new players are having a similar feeling to day nine, and it's just like, I, I, what the heck is going on here? I'm so confused. It's uh, uh, clearly something that needs to change, like fundamentally, right? Like it's just gone too far. It's like scaling it back and getting you back to just like you make a human, you're in Northshire Valley and you just start the game is is maybe a better introduction. And then you kind of just, you kind of figure things out slowly as you traverse through the world instead of just getting just, yeah, I don't, let's, let's finish the video. I, and this is the thing people keep saying to me, yeah, they really dumbed retail down. I'm actually just so fucking confused. I don't know. I literally feel like I've just been doing it wrong. That's what I feel like. It feels like one of those movies where like a high school student is in Italy and they somehow think she is the secret agent for the CIA. So she gets swept up into the mission. That's what I feel like. But the thing is, this isn't a fictional movie. This is my life and I'm just still confused. So I guess I'm going to help Flynn Fairwind, who I hope isn't in here for like child murder. I hope isn't a bad person. The first introduction I had to Flynn was him asking me to punch him. And now I'm hoping that all these people that have broken out are killing what I assume are innocent guards. And now I'm just gonna go, out. I mean, there's so much that I'm crossing my fingers about as I step into what still may not wind up being a game. Okay? So let's find out if we can do a game. Is that, there gonna be a game? Are you thirsty? I'm that was so well said, man. Absolutely perfect from day nine, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I, I man, I, I really do think it's easier to, to get into a game like Classic, even in 2024. It's, it's old, but it just makes sense you know, I'm curious though, cause cause I'm old, day nine's old. I wonder if like a zoomer were to start, what they would prefer? Someone young, cause cause World of Warcraft ultimately, if they want a new audience, they need young players in the game. Like, when like when when I started, I was 12. Like they need new 12, 14, 16 year olds like in the game to keep it alive for you know however long or to get that new influx of the next generation. And it's like maybe maybe this is uh, the preference. Um, maybe I'm out of touch, but like I feel very very similarly. And I'm grateful I started WoW when I did, because you guys remember the feeling in Classic or whenever you started TBC, Wrath, Kata, um, maybe Mop, it was kind of maybe lost a bit of Mop, but like when you started and you were just in this giant world and it was just so mysterious and exciting, like there's no way that's just me, right? Like it was so, 
so beautiful, like so perfect just to, to, to run around the world at that start, you know? And I feel like for players starting now on retail, I don't want to put words in their mouth and maybe I'm off here, but it just seems like that mysteriousness and excitement is just not there. It just doesn't seem to feel like that anymore. Maybe, you know, I would like to talk to more new players. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm out of, maybe, maybe I just don't see it anymore because I've been playing the game for 20 years on retail, right? But I feel like it might just not be there for new players anyway. It might just be like, this is just confusing and it, it, it's lost that like, that spark, that touch, that whatever. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, to get it back there. Yeah, a lot of simplification needs to happen, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> There's a, a, lot, a lot needs to change, I suppose. But man, uh, well said from day nine. And I I, uh, I watched another breakdown um, from a YouTuber a couple months ago who's also never played WoW. Um, what was his name? Was it Jimmy? Uh, I want to say Jimmy. And and a very similar take. Very, very similar take. I'd be curious. Um, so yeah, it was Jimmy. We saw day nine. I'd be curious for more players that have never played WoW to try both and give like an accurate review or description of both after never playing not being biased for one or the other just like going in blank slate all right what's my experience for a week of playing classic and a week of playing retail what's easier to understand what's easier to to get into what's more addicting exciting what gives you more like dopamine to continue to play or gets you more addicted and i mean i'm sure blizzard's got to be running these tests internally to be like okay this is this this system isn't working like we should be doing this or vice versa.